In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Today we celebrate Gaudete Sunday, or the third Sunday of Advent. Gaudete, kasi we are beginning to rejoice dahil nasa kalahati na tayo ng Advent season. We're beginning the second half of the Advent season. So malapit na malapit na tayo sa hinahantay natin at inaasam-asam natin. And so we prepare ourselves for this celebration by first calling to mind all our sins and failures, asking God for forgiveness and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to bring glad tidings to the poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the brokenhearted. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to proclaim liberty to those who are slaves of sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The desert will bloom with flowers. The eyes of the blind will see. Things deemed impossible do happen when the Lord intervenes, such as the heartening message of the prophet Isaiah as he contemplates the return of the exiles to their beloved homeland. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon, they will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble, make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame lip like a stog, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion, sing. Crowned with everlasting joy, they will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will free. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The fulfillment of God's promises is the virtue we should learn both from the farmers and the prophets of old. The Lord will never renege on His promises, we are assured in this brief passage. A reading from the book, from the letter of St. James. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Be patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm 
because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question. Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. So, tinanong ni John the Baptist, nasa prison siya, nasa kulungan, pinatanong dahil naririnig niya mga ginagawa, mga tinuturo ni Jesus. Pinatanong niya sa kanyang mga disciples, pinapuntahan dahil nakakulong siya, hindi siya makapunta on his own. So, pinapunta niya yung nag-send siya ng messengers para sabihin, ikaw na ba? Ikaw na ba yung inaantay namin? Ikaw na ba yung inaantay ng matagal na matagal na matagal na ilan ng mga generations na na-prophesy ka ng, ng prophets, sinabi ka na ng mga prophets in the beginning, ikaw na ba yun? Hindi sinagot ni Jesus ang sinabi, dali saan sabihin ni Jesus, oo, o kaya hindi. Pero anong say say nun, di ba? Kahit anybody can say oo oh, oh, o oh, hindi. Pero sinabi ni Jesus, yung proof para tunay na maniwala sila, yung proof, yung signs na siya nga yung inaintay. Anong sabi niya? Yung signs, yung mga, mga blind, mga bulag, nakakakita, yung mga bingi, nakakarinig, yung mga pipi, nakakasalita, yung mga lepers, napapalinis ang balat at yung mga namatay na, yung iba sa mga namatay na, nabibigyan ng panibagong buhay. Yun yung sabi ni Jesus. Therefore, ibig sabihin, where Jesus is, where the Lord is, life becomes better. 
life becomes closer to perfect. Kapag si Jesus ay nasa buhay natin, nasa paligid natin, nasa samahan natin, nasa kapatiran natin, then life becomes better and close to perfect. Mark my words, sabi ko, life becomes better. Hindi ko sinabing life becomes richer or life becomes easier. No. Life becomes better. We begin to see. Sabi nga, di ba? Nung, nung, where Jesus is there for, if Jesus is with us, then we begin to see. Hindi ba diba sabihin nga, kapag naniniwala tayo lahat, sa Panginoon, wala nang mabubulag, wala nang, wala nang magsasalamin, lahat ba, lilinaw ang mata? Not necessarily, because we're not talking about simply the physical eyes. Although sa panahon ni Jesus, pinagaling talaga yung mga bulagang mata. Pero ngayon si Jesus ay nasa langit na at nasa kasamahan din natin, eh, yung bulag, yung kabulagan, yung kadiliman ng paningin, hindi lamang sa mata kundi sa pananaw sa buhay. Kaya nga, if Jesus with us, if Jesus with us, we will see the light. Makikita natin ang liwanag. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Sometimes, magkakanta tayo na idea ng dahilan, ng, ng explanation, o ng liwanag, kung bakit nangyayari yung mga nangyayari sa buhay natin. Minsan, di ba, nagtatanong tayo sa buhay natin, bakit ba, Lord? Bakit ba nangyayari ito? Ano bang ginawa ko? Ano bang pagkukulang ko? Ginawa ko naman lahat. Pero if we, if we have the Lord with us, kung kasama natin talaga ang Panginoon, magkakaroon ng kaunting liwanag. Hindi ba natin maintindihan lahat? Pero magkakaroon ng liwanag in the sense na matatanggap natin. Gaga ng kalooban natin. O kaya magkakaroon ng pag-resolution. Pag, uh, Mag, uh, gagaling yung sakit o magkakaroon ng, ng solusyon sa problema, lilinaw ang lahat. Makikita natin yung katotohanan. So ang pagtingin dito, hindi lang yung pagtingin ng mata, kundi yung pagtingin ng puso, ng isipan, ng damdamin. We will be able to see God's hand even in the difficult times. We will be able to see God's face in others, even in those that we do not particularly like, kung kasama natin ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, siguro kabalik tara niyan, kung hindi natin nakikita yan, kung hindi natin nakikita ang kamay ng Diyos sa mga pangyayari sa buhay natin, if we are not able to see God's face in others, especially in those that we do not like, If we're not able to even pray for them, maybe it, begs, it puts a question in our, in our lives. Kasama ba natin talaga ang Panginoon? Kasama ba natin talaga ang Panginoon? Kung kasama natin ang Panginoon, we will be able to hear. Gagaling yung ating kabingihan. Maririnig natin ang message ng Panginoon. Maririnig natin ang tawag ng Panginoon para sa bawat isa sa atin kahit sa dami ng ingay at gulo ng mundo. Kung kasama natin ang Panginoon, maririnig natin kung ano ang gusto niyang ipagawa sa atin at any given time. Maririnig natin yung Christ of the poor because God loves the poor. Not only the financially poor, ha? the poor in so many, in, in many other ways. Maraming pwedeng kadukhaan, di ba? Maraming interpretation yung kadukhaan, hindi lang sa pera. But we will be able to hear those cries. Yun ang sinasabi, ang pangako sa atin. We will be able to hear the sufferings of people and hopefully, hopefully, pag-aanin ng kaunti. Pa, to calm, no? pa, pa, palumayan yung sufferings ng ibang tao. Kung kasama natin ng Panginoon, we will be able to speak. Hindi na tayo mapipipi. We will be able to speak. To speak for the voiceless. To speak the truth. For justice and right. 
makakaya natin magsalita ng totoo. Makakaya natin umiwas sa kasinungalingan, hindi lamang sa pananalita, kundi kas- sa kasinungalingan ng buhay. Yung, kas- yung sinungaling na pamumuhay, may iwasan natin kasi we are able to speak now. If we are with God, we are able to speak the truth. Sometimes, even if the truth might hurt. Sometimes, even if the truth might be difficult. But we will be able to speak it. We will be able to address it. We will also be able to console. Pwede natin pa pag-aanin ang kalooban ng mga nahihirapan. To console those who are suffering and to encourage them, those who have lost hope and faith in themselves. We're a- we will be able to speak good things. Hindi lang yung mga chismis, hindi lang yung mga bashing. Hopefully, we will be able to see more and speak more of the good things about others and about life in general. We will be able to speak as God speaks the good, the beautiful, and the true. Kung kasama natin ng Panginoon, makakapagbigay buhay din tayo. Maybe not, not literally, na yung patay na ipubuhayin natin, maraming hindi natin magawa yun. Pero mag- makakapagbigay buhay tayo dun sa mga nalulugmok, you know, mga mababang-mababang pakiramdam, yung mga malungkot na malungkot, yung mga depressed, yung mga uh, dalang ano yan, uh, bo- born down, you know? burdened by so much problems in life. Mabibigyan natin ng buhay, mabibigyan natin ng pag-asa, mabibigyan natin ng dahilan na mabuhay pa ulit. We will be able to give life. Kung kasama natin ang Panginoon. Kaya siguro mga tanong natin dapat sa araw na ito, ngayong Gaudete Sunday, no? dapat nagre-rejoice tayo kasama natin ang Panginoon. O malapit na nating i-celebrate ulit yung kanyang birthday. Pero kasama na natin ang Panginoon, di ba? Tayo dapat ang magiging magbibigay ng ulit ng, ng liwanag sa mga mata ng iba. Tayo mismo ang magbibigay ng boses, ng tinig sa mga pipi. Tayo mismo ang magbubukas sa mga tingan ng mga bingi tayo mismo ang magpapakita ng Diyos sa ating kapwa. Tayo mismo ang makakakita ng Diyos sa ating kapwa. Sana, no? Malapit na yung Pasko. Sana, unti-unti, tayo bilang the body of Christ, tayo mismo, we can make Jesus alive in the world. We can make God and His powers and His power to make people see and make people hear and make people walk and speak through us. Sana maalaw natin yung sarili natin maging instruments, agents, so that other people can see more clearly, can hear more clearly, and you can listen more clearly and, and speak more clearly and live more meaningfully. Hingin natin sa tulong ng Panginoon na sana sa pamamagitan natin, dahil kasama natin ng Panginoon, life becomes better and much closer to being perfect. Let us all stand down. Let me pray. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven, heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things remain, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we look confidently to the fulfillment of the Lord's promises, let us submit to Him some of the most pressing problems of these days. Trusting fully in His omnipotent love, we say, Father of all consolation, hear us. Father of all consolation, hear us. For the Catholic faithful all over the world, may the observance of the Advent season be for them a source of grace and hope. Let us pray. Father of all consolation, hear us. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may they ignite in us the fire of confidence and optimism as we strive to answer the many challenges of our times. Let us pray. Father of all consolation, hear us. For all those who are not able to see the meaning in what they do or suffer, may our unfeigned charity Give them the enlightenment they need. Let us pray. Father of all consolation, hear us. For those who are following the false messiahs of profit, popularity, pleasure, and power, may they realize that only Jesus can fully satisfy their deepest aspirations. Let us pray. Father of all consolation, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our intentions and needs. Let us pray. Father of all consolation, hear us. God our Father, look with compassion at the many forms of suffering and oppression that afflict mankind today. May the healing presence of your Son, Jesus, bring us hope for he lives and saves forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery 
and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he might find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. First Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, only but only the say the word, shall. and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be made holy, and those who use them, 
that they may fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.